Hey folks, it's Jim. I'm going to do a quick video on a product I call the SLV on the COMEX, a trading tool that I use to profit and buy all the gold and silver, fiscal gold and silver I'm ever going to want. I take the profits out of it and I purchase hard gold and silver, all the while letting the markets do the work for me rather than taking my hard-earned money and buying my gold and silver. Now, let me open this uh, video by saying uh, this video is in no way economics or financial advice of any kind. You and you alone are responsible for your financial health and well-being and the decisions you make that are right for you and your family by seeking out the professional financial advice that is right for you. This video is not financial advice or economics advice of any kind or advice of any kind. Those are my disclaimers, okay? But anyway, let me go back to 2007. Since then, I've been using the SLV to acquire and accumulate all the hard gold and silver I will ever want. Okay, I've, I've surpassed my silver uh, goal that I set to accumulate hard silver. And I'm no longer buying silver with my profits from SLV. I'm now switched to gold. I started buying gold at $1,032 an ounce back when it came off its irrational high of 2000 and fell back down to reality. Um, and I started accumulating then. I have since stopped okay, accumulating gold because I believe it's gotten irrational again. I know that it's going upward trend against the dollar is long term up, 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 up. I agree. I believe short term though we're going to have some market fundamentals that are taking place that could drive gold and silver short term lower. Just short term. Okay, and I'm going to take advantage of that move and then I will accumulate more gold with the profits I just made out of the SLV again. Now in 2007, I made, between 2007 and 2011, I made so much off the SLV I've been playing with house money ever since. I made uh, three times, four times the amount of my initial investment back in uh, in the crash of 08 through 2011 because I bought hard silver then and I also invested in the SLV thinking yes it's going to go up as well and I played out and it was right. Ever since then I've been playing here because I sold off made four to five times my original investment and I've been playing with house money in the SLV and investing in other things with some of the profits but I keep a holding of SLV just to be there. Because um, I think the long-term trend of gold and silver is going to be up. So after I finished playing, and now in March, when the markets went down, SLV fell to 11, while fiscal gold was selling at $20 an ounce. It was a no-brainer with that kind of spread for me to buy the SLV at $11 an ounce. I did, and I sold at 25 and a 150% profit, basically, in a very short period of time. Now I'm back out. I just sold out, right? And I'm waiting for the market correction, I believe is going to happen right now. Between now and September 1st, there's going to be a, a market correction. And I believe it's taking place right now, by the way. I've been watching my portfolio, or are you watching yours? In which case, the SLV, when there's panic sell-off in the markets, they have to sell off their hard assets, or SLV paper silver, to cover their losses, some of the big banks and so forth, and that drives the SLV down short term and there's a massive disconnect between the real price of silver and paper because of the massive sell-off with the fall of the markets. I believe this cycle is going to happen two, three, possibly four or five times over the next two to three years and there's going to be a lot of money to be made out of the massive disconnect. Many people think, oh the COMEX, it's going to fail. I don't think that our governments between the London Gold Exchange and the US COMEX is going to be allowed to fail. Okay, and there are reasons for that. I'll get into this on another video, but for today I'm just suggesting, or I'm not suggesting, I'm just sharing with what I do uh, to make money. One tool I use in my market strategies to make money, so I'm not using my hard-earned money to buy gold and silver. I'm rather using market money to do it. Since all of this is house money now, since 2010 when I started dumping silver, or was it? Yeah, 2010 or 11, I started dumping my SLV, and ever since then I've made so much, it's just been house money. So I'm not emotionally attached to it either. Does that make sense to you? Once, once the profits come in, I don't care really. It's just a vehicle, it's a tool, I'm not emotionally attached to it. It's not my hard-earned money I'm playing with here. It's all profit, it's house money. 
Does that make sense to you? And then I turn that house money profits into either real gold or silver or real estate. I believe real estate's going to correct in 2021. We'll get into that later. Or I might buy stocks with the profits, depending on which market cycle is up or down or what's fair value, what's undervalued, what's overvalued. So I may move from metals to markets to real estate. Depends. Okay. So anyway, have you considered something like the SLV? And again, in March, I bought at 11, sold at 25 and a half in a very short period of time. Okay. It wasn't a, wasn't difficult for me to predict what was going to happen there. And I believe this is going to happen four to five more times, three to five times between now and 2023. There are going to be three to five opportunities to go in and out of this and make serious money. You know, in this case, again, 150% profit. Okay? So I just wanted to share this with you. Um, are you looking at it from a detached, rational perspective instead of an attached, emotional, irrational perspective? Okay? When you think about gold, silver, and markets in general. Okay? And I would suggest to all that you go out and watch Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret. Uh, before you go to bed today, before we head into this tumultuous period of the next three to five years. Okay, it's going to turmoil, it's going to rain, it's going to be chaos in the global markets, in the U.S. markets, in real estate, in everything. It's going to be chaos, isn't it? I think the long-term trend of gold and silver is up due to governments. However, I am not attached to it. I don't care. It's just another tool. Okay, I accumulate gold and silver with profits from the market, the very SLV market that it is, and I've already bought all the silver I'm ever going to own. It's in a vault in my capital. I don't hold it in my home. I don't recommend you do either because your house can burn down. You could be robbed or, God forbid, you die and have hidden it and your children never find it. And then they sell your house and somebody else gets your gold and silver, not your kids. I hold mine in a vault in the capital because it's easily transferred to my son. It makes his life simpler. That's why. Okay? And I'm not attached to it. I really don't care. It's just a tool, an instrument. That's it. <clears throat> but more importantly, it's insured. Okay? And that's why I keep it in my state capital in a vault rather than, uh, you know, trying to hoard it in my house and be attached to it like precious, you know? I don't care. So I use the SLV as an instrument to reach the goals for me. And this year, I'm hoping to conclude my purchase of gold. I started buying gold at $1,032 an ounce. I quit buying gold when it went over $1,500 an ounce. I'm now waiting for a correction in gold. Do I think it's going to hit $15? No, I may start buying again at $1,700 or $1,800. I may start using my profits from the SLV to start buying gold again. Real gold, hard gold, right? So, this video is about have you considered tools like the SLV, market tools, that, you, that I can forecast easily. You have to make your own algorithms to make the money to acquire all the gold and silver you're ever going to want without being stressed out or drawing money from your own pocket. You know what I mean? Just using house money that the markets have given us. You know, this 150%, I'm going to sit on the sidelines until I make a decision of what I want to do with it. I believe the markets are going to crack, and I think that's going to drive SLV down. So I may jump back in when I feel that we've hit the bottom on SLV. So this may be twice in one year that I've made over 100% profit in a very short period of time off the same product. Are you following me? Okay. That's why I'm not emotionally attached to any of this. I don't care. It's house money. I'm just playing a game. A game of numbers. I'm not emotionally attached. I do not care, really. And I sleep at night. It's just an instrument and a tool to get to a place I want to go or to reach a goal of accumulating these assets. I've already reached my SLV goal like three years ago, my silver goal, physical silver. And this year to middle of next year, I will reach my holdings of gold, physical gold. And I'm not going to buy any more after that. You know, and I don't hold it in my home. I hold it in a vault in my capital. And the reason why is it's easier for my son to take custody should I pass away. 
You know what I mean? And so, you know, at my age, you got to start thinking about this stuff now. You know what I mean? And I only share this because a lot of preppers are hoarding uh, mountains of gold and silver in their home. And God forbid anything tragic ever happen. You know what I mean? But, it, you know, at my age, I start thinking about that. So once again, I've done it. I plan on doing it here very shortly when the stock markets tank again. I'll probably jump back in and profit again. Okay, it's all house money, so I don't even care, right? And, uh, and my main point of this video is, have you heard what I just said? Have you thought this through? And please watch Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret before you go to bed tonight. So you kind of get a grasp of what's really happening here. What am I really doing? I'm not thinking about money in money terms and greed. I'm simply using a tool, playing a game of numbers. That's it. And I'm not emotionally attached. Am I happy when I make these profits? Yes. Do I run around dancing in the living room and overly excited? No, because it's just a game to me. That's all. It's just numbers. I mean, in the end, you're not taking it with you anyway. So should you really be attached to anything? Anything worth having in life is free. The love of family members, you know, love given, love received. You know what I mean? The beauty of a sunset, watching the rabbits run around in my backyard, the wild rabbits. All these things that bring me true joy and true inner happiness have been free throughout my life. Have you, has that ever occurred to you? Things of money or monetary value really don't bring true happiness. They're just tools, vehicles, to get us somewhere. So when you start thinking about money, monetary success that way, it's no longer stressful. And by not being attached to the outcome, just being attached to the game, right? It's fun, and there's no stress involved. And I sleep at night, okay? So watch your old Nightingale's The Strangest Secret, please, before you go to bed tonight. Start applying those principles and think about tools like the SLV, maybe, that might be right for you, especially in the next two to five years where we're going to go through some extremely volatile periods. And I believe there's a lot of money to be made, both in the markets and in real estate and everywhere else at the right times as this thing cycles. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, I don't want this video to run too long. You know, are you sleeping at night? How are you accumulating gold and silver? Are you aware that we're about ready to head into probably the most uh, dynamic opportunity to make money uh, that's ever been put before us? This will be even better than 08, I believe, this opportunity. If you're prepared, if you're not attached, if you're not emotional, if you just see your way clear through this mess that's about to take place. There are going to be ample opportunities to profit in many ways. Jim out.